I'm Dave Axel. Welcome to the weekly band crawl for May 5th, 6th, and 7th. Doing something new here. There were a couple of rumors floating around. One about Dexter's Lake Mary, one about Daytona. I decided to go to the source and try and get an answer. Number one, Dexter's Lake Mary, they are still having bands. I know there was a rumor that a band played there and they didn't get a check and they weren't having bands anymore. The, none of that's completely accurate. Um, they were out of checks that night, so they didn't pay the band that night. Uh, but they're fine. They're still doing bands. As of now, they have no intention of canceling bands, so good to know. Um, and then I reached out to the Doghouse, spoke to Rhonda. They have, in fact, leased Full Moon Saloon, uh, the Bank and Blues, and Dirty Harry's. Full Moon Saloon will be going as a country venue. Um, the other two were staying the same. So all that about them being knocked down and bulldozed, none of that's accurate. They've got an exceedingly long-term lease, and it looks like they'll be up and running in a month or so. Um, and Bike Week should be as normal, which is great news for a lot of the bands. So just wanted to cut to the chase and see what the deal was. So there you have it. Sanford Brewing Company, one of my favorite places. Friday, Stephen Curran, Saturday, Cloakies. And on Sunday, Fred Lepacki. Out in their Maitland location, Friday, Tim and the Dudes. I love that name, very cool. Saturday, Acoustic Inferno. And on Sunday, Connor Long. Dexter's Lake Mary, Friday and Saturday. The man, the myth, the legend, Jet and the Jet County Dragsters. Cafe Murano, Friday, Speed Limit 70. Always a fantastic time. Susan and Thomas are awesome musicians and humans. And then on Saturday, speaking of awesome, Rafa and the Rundown. The Alley, Thursday, Timbo's Band, Big Love. Glad to see them out and playing a bunch. I hear they're fantastic. And on Friday, Kings County and Saturday, Papa Willie at 8.30 p.m. Castleberry's Friday, the Groove Slayers. I've said it before, if you haven't seen this band, very different from everything else. Full horn section, fantastic. You'll have a great time. And Saturday, On the Rocks with Nikki Bolin. Post time Thursday, Hypersona Duo. On Friday, my, uh, excuse me, John Foscolos and Redline. Um, they are fantastic. If you have not seen them, you need to get out and do that. And on Saturday, The Legends, My Generation. Always a great time. OBs, Wednesday, The Occasional Astronauts, Friday, Hayfire. They are by far one of my favorite bands. You have to check them out if you've not seen them. And you can hang out, spend the weekend, and check out Groove Slayers on Saturday night. Wing Shack, Friday, Alias, Saturday. Nothing listed, could be a gig up for grabs. And on Sunday, The Lounge Lizards from 4 to 8 p.m. Johnny's Other Side, Friday, Off the Charts. These guys don't play around here all that often, but they're just a fun party dance band. They go on at 7. I'm going to go with... Pretty Chaos, although that should be Pretty Chaos, but I'm betting you that's supposed to be said Pretty Chaos. I'm not sure, so forgive me if it's wrong. On Saturday, Oasis Saloon Friday, Shifting Gears, Saturday, Free Agent. Muldoon Saloon, Rick Navarro. He is another amazingly talented local musician. Definitely stop by. Saturday, Nobody Listed. Could be a gig up for grabs. Fredster's Thursday, Smooth Play. Friday, okay, so this is... Buzz, the drummer from Harlequin, this is his new project, Breaking Lucy. Talked to him about it a bunch. Sounds like it'll be amazing. Karen and uh, Britt from Harlequin will be there for this opening gig for them. It's the first show. If you're in the area, it would be great to show those guys some support. Saturday, the Boomers. Main Street Station, Friday, Shovelhead. First time I think I've seen them local. I see them a lot in Melbourne uh, at Sully's, but I don't think I've seen them local before, so good for them. Saturday, Occasional Astronauts. Boot Hill Saloon, Friday is Gray, Saturday, TBD. Again, they're not the best about getting us their dates, which is totally fine, so that may or may not be a gig up for grabs. Original first term, Thursday, Sesame Plexer. Friday and Saturday, Nikoloff. This is another band. They were gone for a long time. If you have not seen John and his band, go do it. He is a fantastic front man. The whole band, I'm sure, is amazing. Go by and check them out all weekend long. Porthole, Saturday, the Murder Hornets. Again, just three people who love to have a good time. Bar, uh, excuse me, the Doghouse, Friday. Nobody listed. They may or may not have a band, but Saturday is Barfly, and you cannot go wrong with Scott Hunter and Rob Amico. There's just no way to do it. Garage Bar, Friday, Schedule 1, and Saturday, Velcro Love. Saints and Sinners, Friday, Gun Shy. Saturday, Crash Rocket goes on at 1. Jackknife at 7. That is a great day of music at Saints and Sinners. And then on Sunday, Big Engine. Beaches, Friday and Saturday, The Electric Experience. This is a great club. If you haven't been there yet, it's a very cool vibe. It's right in the heart of Daytona. Definitely check it out. 
Hard Rock Friday, Linkin Park and A Day to Remember, both of which are tributes. And Saturday, little known band, tons of fun, Midnight Mayhem. I hope we will see you there. Long's Log Cabin Friday, Fracture, Fish. They have decided not to do bands anymore. Um, that's what I'm being told. I haven't verified, but for now, no bands listed. Traders Friday and Saturday, Pop Culture Poets, Randy Williams. Enough said. Go see this guy if you haven't done it. Flagler Tavern, they have bands this weekend. Friday, Aaron Lightning and Paradox rolling into town. Saturday, Stereo FM, which Britt is singing with them from Harlequin. She's asked everybody to follow the page, give it a like, help support the band. So I'm assuming she'll be with them for that night. Peanuts, Thursday, the John Cats. Friday, Cheap Thrills. And Saturday, the fabulous Be Naturals. I have seen the Be Naturals. I have been impressed with them every single time. It's kind of a bluesy disco, just funky party band. I think you will love them. Captain Hiram's Thursday, Chris Fenn. Friday and Saturday, Hypersona. Again, Eric, Steve, how, how do you go wrong with this show? Pinto's Friday, Julian Black Sheep. And Saturday, Karaoke. Sully's Friday, TBD. Could be a gig up for grabs. And on Sunday, More Than Venus. Drunken Parrot Saloon, Friday, Brian James. And Saturday, Julie's back at it with Black Sheep. Island Cloud Grill. This is also in St. Cloud, by the way. Uh, Kitty let me know that from More Than Venus, so thank you. Friday, Chris Bracado. Hope I said that right. Saturday, More Than Venus from 6 to 9 p.m. Sunday, Kurt and Jane. Hurricane. Friday, the 506 crew. And Saturday, Linda Acoustic. Spill Thursday, Rick Bethard. Friday and Saturday, nothing listed. And they usually have entertainment, so it could be a gig up for grabs. Check it out. First and last tab, Saturday, Gray. Crossroads 44, Friday, Dr. Sprocket. And Saturday, Time Machine. Ruby Street Grill, Thursday, Dennis Gallo. Friday, Jeff Whitfield Band. And Saturday, I'm going to call my guy, S-A-T-R-U-D-A-Y. See what happens? I'm not paying enough attention. Saturday, the TBR Band. The 1405 Saloon, Sound Theory, my partner in the band crawl, Tom Cook rolling through there. By the way, side note, I posted a video from 1978 of Tom Cook's band, Sugar, doing a show. Uh, Tom is on keyboards. You will not recognize him at all. It is a very cool video. Check it out. I want to say Tom pops in and sings a song and gets a lot of camera time uh, at about 25 minutes in. Um, it is an old VHS tape, so that's just how they rolled in 78. Mark Sports Pub, Saturday, the Murder Hornets. Friday, the Murder Hornets are at Hyderhead Brewery. I have not seen that. Sounds like a cool place. Papa Wheelie, Cinco de Mayo party at Earl's Hideaway on Friday, May 5th at 8 o'clock. My band, Midnight Mayhem, finally back at Rockin' Brews, right, in Oviedo. We have not been there since before the pandemic. The food is great, killer atmosphere, a fantastic time. If you're in the area, we would love to see you. Rockin' Robin's Acoustic Night. The VFW Post 3227 in St. Cloud. This is the Afterglow Acoustic Duo. I have not had a chance to check them out, but I hear nothing but fantastic things. This is dinner and a show starting at 6 o'clock, and yes, it is open to the public. Saturday, Tin House Ranch. They have the Lynn Gibson Project at 6.30, Rowdy Jameson Band at 7.30, The Fog at 8.30, and Dave Michael and the Creation at 9.30. That sounds like an awesome day slash evening of music. And then on Friday, May 5th, at Jack's Fifth Avenue, right here in Lake Mary, Rowdy Jameson Band will be there. This is a very cool restaurant, bar, indoor, outdoor venue right in Lake Mary that I don't know that a lot of people know about. Great chance to check it out. More Than Venus, Friday the 5th, they are at the Pub on International Drive. Saturday, Pennsylvania Avenue in St. Cloud, they will be at Island Cloud Grill, which I already let you know earlier. And of course, on Sunday, they are at Sully's. Every week I tell you about this, every week I'm doing it again. Check out allmusicmagazine.com. Great free PR. Don't know what you're waiting for. If you're looking for another source to look at who's playing where, they have an even bigger reach than we do, so check them out. And that, my friends, is the weekly band crawl for May 5th, 6th, and 7th. I hope you guys have a killer weekend of live music. If you're in the area, we'd love to see you, but wherever you go, it's gonna be a great time. Get out and have some fun, stay safe, and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.